Roberto. You have a visitor. Uh, look, look, if it's, it's that guy from the consulate, uh, tell him I'm busy. Um, uh, tell him I'll, I'll get in contact with him if I need him, all right? It's not the consulate. Well, whoever it is, I, I don't want to talk to him. Just uh, I tell him I'm busy. Okay, Roberto, but I think you want to see this one. It's a senorita, muy buena. Well, uh, oh, who is it, Enrique? I don't know, but I sure would like to. Which, I think my memory serves me right. Uh, last time I saw you, you were shacked up with Loverboy. Two years is a long time. I made a mistake. I didn't know what I wanted. Did you forget we were married? I needed some space. Space. Well, I need space too. This is my space. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave. You're violating it. Wait. As I left... You lay stunned and still. Eerie moans cried on your nightgown. I knew everything, and I said nothing. Stop it. Well, just stop it. Hi, it's good. How do you know? You don't know anything about poetry. And you don't even like poetry, especially mine. I've changed a lot since then, Robert, a lot. I like it. I think it's good. And the critics do, too. As a matter of fact, it's on the New York Times bestseller list. The bookstores can't even keep it in stock. What's that to you, Linda? We're history. Your history, Linda. As far as I am concerned, you are just a footnote on one chapter of my life. Robert! Why did we have to go through everything the way we did? Tell me, you're the social expert. I don't know. I guess I just didn't ever know what I wanted. Oh, I wasn't ready to be married. All I could think about was all the years that had gone by and how little I'd done. So, uh... How'd you know I was here, anyway? I contacted your publisher. He gave me this address. I couldn't believe it. How'd you get in this mess? I needed to get away. I'd come down here once with some buddies after high school, and I figured it was the most out-of-the-way place I knew of. But why didn't you just wire for some money? Who was I going to wire? You? You must have had some money somewhere. <laughs> you ought to know. You didn't leave a hell of a lot when you left. I quit my job. I took what I had and... So, what's the real reason you're here, Linda? I told you. Don't oh, give me another one of your lovable Linda lines. I told you. I came to see you. Cut the crap, will ya? What do you want from me? Well, why are you here? I want you back, Robert. Why? Because I made a mistake. <sighs> it's not good enough. All right. It's because I miss you. I really do. Isn't that what you want me to say? I want you to tell me the truth. Robert, this year has been hell for me. Why come to me? 
Well, where's my best buddy? You know, the one you ran off with? Things never work out the way I expect. I found out that Bill does have a terrible temper. At first, he just pushed me around. I didn't think much about it until he started slapping me, and then the slaps became punches. I'd had it. We were at a party, and I was talking to Hank Carpenter. As a matter of fact, Hank was asking me a lot of questions about you. Bill must have heard, because... He came over and he started yelling, calling me a slut and a whore, and Hank told him to lay off. <laughs> Hank shouldn't have done that, because Bill hauled off and broke Hank's jaw. Then he grabbed me and pushed me outside into a hallway. That was it. I told him I did not ever want to see him again. He pushed me through a plate glass window. Oh, that bastard! Look, I told you Bill was crazy. Mm -hmm. oh. you know, in Vietnam, he would shoot at anything that moved. Uh, uh, dogs, chickens, kids, women. It didn't matter. He'd laugh his head off. But it, when Vietcong fired back, he'd cower like a dog. Well, it still must mean something to you. Do you love him? No, that's not it. What is it then? When I came home from the hospital, I found out that he'd sold everything I owned. He'd even wiped out my bank account. We still have a house, don't we? Maybe you should sell it. No, we don't. Uh, it's being repossessed unless I can come up with $5,000, and I don't have $5,000. I played here, isn't it? You, you came down here to see me because you need some money. <laughs> I should have known it. <laughs> you came down here... Because you saw my book and you figured you could ding me for some bucks. That's not true. That's not true! I don't believe you. I told you. I came here to see you, and if you don't trust me, then I'll pack up my stuff and leave right now. Wait. Are you sure? Do you remember the first time we dated and you went home early because your company was leaving for Vietnam the next morning? A few hours later, there was a knock at my door and it was you. <laughs> That's the way I feel right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way I feel, too. That cost me 30 days in the break. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Yeah. So how's this place? Oh, not too bad. <laughs> I made a few friends. 
I'm, I'm teaching one of the inmates to uh, speak English. And when he's released, he wants to marry an American woman and he met while she was on vacation here. Are there any other Americans here? Just me. There was one guy who, who told me he was an American. So I asked the consul about him and uh, he told me that he was really a Nazi spy with an American alias. <laughs> oh, Robert. We've got to find a way to get you out of here. I can handle it. I don't talk to him anymore. The guy is strange. You know what he likes to do? He likes to play checkers with his other inmate. Um, you know, teaches them how to jump the pieces. The only thing is, when, when the guy jumps, the Nazi slaps him. The, the whole game goes like this. Till the... Nazi blows up. And, uh, he accuses the poor fool of cheating and, uh, beats the crap out of him. Well, how about the food? How's the food? Well, I've adjusted. Kind of reminds me of your cooking. Well, I'm the first to admit that um, one of my stronger talents was not cooking. <laughs> Good thing you have other talents. <clears throat> all right, all right. Look, I'm sorry. I got my faults too, you know. We both do. But you've always had the ability to admit your mistakes. That's a quality in you I really admire. Me? I'm trying to be more like you. I realize now how ambitious you really were. I'm sorry I never took your writing seriously. Time is up, Signora. Vamanos. <clears throat> I guess it's time for me to go. First, I want to give you this. Uh, I can't. Robert. For Christ's sake, why can't you take it? Because I like it in here. I, for the first time in my life, I've got people who leave me alone. I can write all day long. But poetry. You're a coward, aren't you? Just like Bill. <laughs> you can't take the fire. That's why you came back to my apartment that night. Not because you were crazy about me. You were afraid to go. Give it to me. Andale, andale. Things will be exactly the way they were before, Robert. Only better. Wait.